The weird story behind I had an affair with my teacher when I was doing M-Tech. So this was two years back when I was doing M-Tech from a renowned college in US. There was this PhD scholar who was about one year younger to me, but she had done a five-year B-Tech plus M-Tech program from the same institute and immediately got into PhD program as well and I had also two years gap between my B-Tech and M-Tech, so that explains why she was younger to me. In our college, PhD scholars were required to take at least class of M-Tech students. She was in her second year of research. She wasn't the most beautiful women I had seen on campus, but she was definitely the sexiest teachers anybody could get, mostly because she was tall and had great figure. She had a breakup just two months before she started taking our classes. So this is how our story began. We had already started taking classes, and it was one month into the semester. Almost all the boys in our class were elder to me. Some had girlfriends or were married, except for me and my roommate, but he had eyes on another girl in the class. So I was the lone warrior in this battlefield. So one day, I saw her crying in a small parking spot behind our building. She saw me and quickly cleaned her tears and called me. She knew me by name. Wow, I didn't expect that. She called me saying, Mr. Anderson, come here. I obviously went there. She asked me what I was doing there. I told her I am going to cafeteria to have some tea. She said even she was going there. She basically then asked me to join her. When we went there, she said don't tell anyone what I saw at the parking spot, but then I gathered some courage to ask her why she was crying. She then told me nothing I should know about. But I was adamant in knowing and replied back by saying, I can keep another secret and maybe I can help her with it. She was hesitant at first, but then she told me that her ex-boyfriend just a month after the breakup got engaged to another girl who was her friend. I consoled her and said that don't worry much may be that ex didn't deserve you, and you deserve much better than him. Yes, I know it's a very common reply from a guy when he is talking to a beautiful girl who is telling him about her ex. She then after drinking tea calmed down a bit and said she wanted to get married late, but her ex wanted her to leave the PhD and get married to him immediately or he will leave her, and that's what he did. I gave her tissues and touched her left shoulder trying to console her again. She wiped her face and said something which I didn't hear properly, and then she suddenly left that place without saying bye or anything of that sort. Later that night, I got a message on my WhatsApp from an unknown number saying, Hi, this is Anna. Obviously it was her, and yes, I forgot to mention that her name was Anna. I replied back immediately, Yes, Anna, ma'am. How are you? Don't call me ma'am, first of all. I am fine now. Thanks for talking to me in the cafe earlier. Okay. I will call you by your name, Ms. Miller. It's great that I could be of help to you. No, call me Anna. By the way, are you free right now? Wanna grab some coffee at the night cafe near PhD Hostel? What the fuck just happened? Did she actually ask me out for a date? Well, it might not be a date for her, but it was for me. Yes, Anna. I am free. I will be there in 20 minutes. I asked for 20 minutes as I wanted to take bath before meeting her. No be there in 30 minutes. I need to take bath. Is it okay, Andrew? I took bath and went there in exactly 29 minutes. She hadn't arrived yet. The night cafeteria was empty as most of PhD scholars either cook on their own or are asleep by 1 a.m. in the night. Yet it was a post-midnight date. That was on time. You never come on time my class though. I heard her saying this while patting on my back. Damn I needed a good comeback on this, otherwise it could spoil the moment. That's because your class is at 9am in the morning, and since I usually sleep by 3 it's difficult to come on time. I hope you understand. Yeah, totally get it, Andrew. Even I barely manage it somehow. Also, a lot of my time goes in watching shows on Netflix or Prime, and I wake up at 8.30 mostly. Same here, Anna. Also, you don't personally invite me to your class every day like you invited me tonight. Well, yeah, that's true, but technically that's not a date, like the one now. Did she just said this is a date? Or was I hearing what I wanted to hear? I was damn confused so without saying anything more I said, is this a date? Well, I asked you out for a midnight snack, that too alone, isn't that called a date? Technically, yes, but I didn't think this was a date otherwise. I didn't know what to say. I had lost words and she could guess that immediately. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, Andrew. Next time, take it as a date and be prepared. What the fuck was happening? I couldn't understand. Was it a dream? She wanted another date just at the start of our first one. Okay, Anna. I am sorry. Trying to look her in the eye. Why? You don't want to go on a date with me. 
No. I didn't mean that. So, you will come on another date with me? Yes, yes. If you say so. What? This is not an order, dear. I am asking you on a date, you dumbo. Yes, yes. I would like to go on a date with you. Who wouldn't? Okay, great. Then let's go to a movie this Saturday. Sure, Anna. I will book the tickets. Cool. Book late night show. I have lots of work till the evening. We can also have dinner together before going for the movie. You can come to my room if you are okay with it. By the way, don't take it in a wrong way. Thanks for coming with me on a date and listening to my stupid stuff. I enjoy talking to you and I guess you too like my company. If in any way you don't like what I am doing you can tell me. I know I am very blunt but yes this is the way I am. If I like talking to someone I will directly ask them for a date. I know it might little morally wrong for my part being your teacher to go on a date with a student but then I am your temporary teacher and soon I wouldn't be teaching you. She paused, I guess waiting for me to say something. I understand, Anna. I also like your company. I don't mind at all going on a date with you. So we kept on going to dates almost twice a week. On the fourth date, she said she had a crush on me, and that's why she had asked me for a date. I also told that I had a crush on her since the first day I saw her. We kissed that night in her room. We made out more the next night, but this time in the movie theater. Next Friday, it was my birthday. She wanted to take me out for a trip on Friday night. I agreed, obviously. On Thursday night at 12 a.m., I got a call from her, just when my hostel friends were hitting me with anything that they could find because of my birthday, still gives me shivers remembering the pain. So I had saved her number as some random guy's name suffixed with cousin. She wished me and called me ASAP to her apartment. After almost an hour, I went there after taking a bath, obviously. I was already in love with her. I am not sure if she was or not, though I never told her that I loved her. She opened the door, wearing a t-shirt and same color shorts. Damn, she was looking sexy that night. There was something different that night. Happy birthday, Andrew. Thank you so much, Anna. Let's cut the cake. Then, I have a small surprise for you. Okay, I am waiting for your surprise. While I am cutting the cake, she is taking a video of it and singing happy birthday to Andrew. Then she makes me eat a lot of cake which she cut, and then I also put some cake in her mouth which she again puts in my mouth while smooching me. We make out for some time. Then suddenly she is like, Wait. I will be back. She goes into her room and brings a small gift wrapped box which looks like a photo frame or a book and gives it to me. I open the gift. It's a photo frame of ours with, I love you, written on it. And there is another box attached to the back of the frame, as I could feel it while holding the frame. I didn't first look at the box. I simply feel excited and kissed her passionately. We both kissed for like five to eight minutes. Then she asks me to look at the gift properly. That's when I figure out that there is a box stuck behind the frame. I turn over the frame and open the wrapping in that small box. It's a box of condoms, three pack. I was shell shocked. She wanted to have sex with me that night. Obviously, I got turned on by that thought itself. She kissed me and said, this is the night we both will remember forever, baby. First time she called me baby. Wow, so many first times. No, it wasn't my first sex, though. I had two girlfriends with whom I had done sex with which even Anna knew about. We made out more. She removed my shirt and trousers, and then I removed hers. We then moved to her bedroom. I obviously didn't forget to take the condom packet. We kissed each other, removed all our clothes, and then we had a blast that night. I don't remember how I ended up back in my hostel, but we did many times throughout the night. It was truly the best birthday I had. Later next day, we went to the trip where we had sex almost six to seven times. We even drank together. This continued for one more year till I graduated and then got a job in Bangalore. This was one year back. Now our relationship is not that strong because of the long distance. We don't talk regularly, only three, four times a week, but we meet like once in three to four months. We hardly get to have sex. Though I don't like anyone else, I am not sure about her. She is finishing her PhD in one more year from now. Also, I have had some hookups here as I get frustrated from being away from her. I am planning to go to meet her next month on her birthday and propose her just like she proposed me, but with a ring. I am not sure if I still love her or not, but I am sure she is the best girl I can marry. I hope she still has enough feelings for me and says yes to my proposal. I'm sure I haven't lost all the love I had for her, 
and will love her throughout our life if we end up marrying each other.